Hello, and welcome to your August 18th full moon reading, Leo. It's a pleasure to be your reader today. My name is Dadamkar. You can reach me at dadamkar23 at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. Um, today, I'm going to be using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg deck. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also make a donation to Patreon, and I accept PayPal payments. Okay. <sighs> I call upon the energy of the Sun, ruler of Leo, to give us the messages, the spirit messages for August 18th. 2016. What do Leos need to know during this time of transformation and soul growth? All of the associations with Leo, the cats, The sunflowers, the honey, the gods of the sun throughout the earth, in places the goddesses of the sun. I call upon you now to assist in this spiritual quest. with saffron, all of the things of a golden color that belong to Amun Ra, to the Sun Jesus, to all of the masters of the golden thread of teaching throughout the ages. Thank you now. Guide this reading. Thank you. This is the questioner. The card that cr crosses the questioner. This card has been on your mind. This card is your recent past. This card is your distant past. This card is your hopes for the future. This card is your effect on others and their effect on you. This card is your environment. This card is your feelings in the present situation. And this card is your final result. general reading for August 18th, 2016. You, the questioner, I can see you as a falling tower. And you've been going through a hard time internally, I would think. Sudden abrupt changes of some kind, certainly. Um, this is a time when a whole other world is opening up to you. I'm not sure if you like this whole other world that's opening. So, the Falling Tower is the Imperial Crown 
that falls from the tower, along with gold coins, crosses, and other religious objects, and a man and a woman symbolizing the fall of the Russian Empire in 1917. This is irrevocable change. It is upright. It means complete and sudden change, breakdown of old beliefs, abandonment of past relationships, severing of a friendship, changing one's opinion, unexpected events. Bankruptcy, downfall, loss of stability, and a loss of security. <clears throat> you have recently gone through a huge inner shift in your transformative values, uh, in your transformation, and not everyone is kept keeping up with these shifts. Um, you're particularly um, threatened with um, some kind of financial uh, result of your uh, of your transformation. Now, what crosses you currently is the emperor. This is an authority figure, a patriarchal authority figure. Someone who is a grandfather, a husband perhaps, but more along the lines of a father um, or a boss. This is heavy patriarchal authority. This is a falling out, possibly, with a male figure for you. The Emperor. The Emperor's throne is carved with the image of St. George, onion domes, characteristic of Russia in the background. Um, <coughs> the Emperor here symbolizes Worldly power, confidence, wealth, stability, authority, indomitable spirit, war-making tendencies, father, brother, husband, male influence, domination of intelligence and reason over emotion and passion, a patriarchal figure. So this would tend to illustrate that somebody is pushing their weight around, that um, there's a, a fallout situation. I, I don't know if that is making you internally having issues or whether you're watching systems around you at this amazing time of ascendance crumble, who, which um, is surprising you. What is in your head? What is in your head right now is uh, on your mind. Is the world reversed? It's a beautiful world, a fecund mother goddess, um, however, uh, and she, she has all of the animals of the gospel around her, she is carrying what appear to be Gnostic gospels in her hands, and she is over the earth, um, and the uh, places depicted on the earth appears to be Russia. Um, So, uh, she wears a crown upon her head, and it is in the reverse. So, during this time, your goal or destiny of, uh, which can be accomplished in the present circumstances, this feels like claustrophobia to me, somehow. For you. The world, a crowned woman dances in space, behind her is the earth. Reverse meanings, imperfection, failure to complete the task one starts, a lack of vision, disappointment. So, um, you were working on something, it looks like, and uh, you came to blows with the way it was being run. There was a male patriarchal authority figure um, involved in this situation, um, and you uh, are um, finding yourself annoyed, and in with that annoyance of its imperfection, you don't want to be involved with anything less than your regal capabilities, Leo. 
um, you have decided um, that they are short-sighted. Whatever you proposed was possibly turned down and you were very disappointed and you feel that they were very short-sighted in turning you down. Um, uh, but this has, has really called, caused this, this falling tower uh, change for you. So in the short term past we have the Knight of Swords, which who is a campaigner for his visions. Um, and uh, Swords is an intellectual card, so ideas, a campaigner of ideas. In the upright position it means bravery, skill, capacity, strength and dash. Heroic action, opposition and war, uh, impetuous and fearless rush into the unknown, a master in the art of action and warfare. So, um, you have come through again and again. You have proven your mettle. Uh, you feel that it's very short-sighted of your, your boss or your male friend or your brother or your lover to, to discount um, your ideas right now, um, because you're, you're usually right, um, and in the, uh, you have been right in the past, in the short term. In the long term past, we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Perhaps this can shed more light on these issues. The Knight of Cups is an invitation or opportunity may soon arrive, arise, arrival, approach, advancement, attraction, inducement, appeal, challenge, proposal. So um, you had an opportunity in your distant past. You seized that opportunity with the Knight of Swords, going from the Knight of Cups to the Knight of Swords. You uh, were successful and victorious. However, now you find your options somehow limited, you, you feel confined to the position you're in or bound to the person you're with in a way that doesn't really, you, you feel you need to find more common ground with them somehow to work with that and or energy to, to foster that positive male energy in the, found in the emperor, finding the positive in the male force in the divine masculine. So, um, during this time, your future um, influence right now is the star. And the star is uh, a, a card which goes along with the sign Aquarius, and that is your opposite sign, Leo. So this is a, a time of growth, but not comfortable growth for you, um, necessarily. Um, this is the sphere of influence which is coming into being for you right now in your world. The star is a young woman who pours her water on the ground and into the sea. Behind her is a Slavic field camp. The largest star above is Sirius. It's a very serious star. Um, so, uh, the divine meaning, upright. Your destiny is hope, faith, inspiration, bright prospects, a mixing of the past and the present, optimism, insight, good omen, spiritual love, astrological influence, uh, fulfillment, pleasure, the proper balance of desire and work, hope and effort, love and expression. So um, those are all noble, very noble desires. Um, you you feel that this is a time to, to step into your own truth and and be your inner self, your true self, um, victorious in, in your battles. Um, and you are opposing some dominate, dominating forces. However, um, let's see what happens with those dominating forces. I am getting a, a very victorious vibe. Um, with them. They are short-sighted in not seeing your value right now, your full value. So the questioner, the questioner right now, um, this is your present position or attitude towards your circumstances right now is the Seven of Swords. 
and it is a warrior who is going back over the battlefield and reclaiming those weapons um, to be used in battle again because they cannot be wasted. This is someone who is very thrifty and is plotting and planning his next uh, attack. So, your present position with regard to all of these factors is new plans, wishes, fortitude, perseverance, endeavor, hope, confidence, fantasy, and partial success. So, uh, whatever your adventure you're setting off on now, your your new adventure, your your great rabble rousing, um, wonderful uh, newest project, I predict um, it will be mostly successful, but. It will be uh, most successful in giving you a new, renewed sense of hope, of joy, of promise, of expression that it can be relied upon to give that right away. Um, as for whether it is entirely successful in terms of a monetary way um, or as successful as you had hoped, it might take time. It, it suggests that it takes perseverance, that, that this is fortitude, that, that this is called for, um, for you to continue um, keeping on, proving yourself, being the warrior you are in this situation. Let's see what the future from there brings, uh, your environmental factors. Um, this is your influence on others, your position in life, um, and other people's effect on you. Eight of coins. Here you go. This is a tradesman who is making money um, based on his apprenticeship, his own skills, uh, somebody who is a hard worker and reaps a just reward from his hard work, honest labor. Um, this is all positive, so this suggests that you will have people coming to you. You will have a time of abundance in your environment right now and in the future, and that you will have people seeking you out for your specific skill set, um, and that there will be an, an exchange of energy there, which is really, really positive for both sides. Um, this is a great great indicator of well-being financially and also in pride of your craft. Eight of Coins is the apprenticeship, the craftsmanship, the quickness to learn, the candor and the modesty, the handiwork and the personal effort. So you're sustaining personal effort towards your own vision and that is a beautiful thing. Don't listen to any kind of patriarchal oppressive force right now because you are um, thrifty and uh, you are finding new ways to win all every day, all the time, every second. You can figure out a lesson which helps you succeed better the next time. Um, and uh, Edison said with his hundredth light bulb that he learned 99 ways not to make a light bulb and until he found how to make a light bulb. That's what he said when somebody asked, how do you make a light bulb? Um, well, I know 99 ways you can't make a light bulb, but a bitch ain't one. No, wait. Um, okay, so the next one is inner emotions. Inner emotions. Your inner emotions at this time are also your hopes, your fears, your hidden emotions, your secret desires, your anxieties. Um, these may be questions you have in the future uh, addressed. So what do we have? The Hierophant. There you go. He is supreme male power, likened in a way to, I would say, Saturn, whereas the Emperor is more Jupiter male energy. This is Saturn. This is a a wisdom and an aged male figure 
uh, a, a timeless wisdom. So, Hierophant, Hierophant, more patriarchy, more sun, more male energy, male magic here. So let's see, getting in touch with the inner male is what I'm hearing, the nurturing male self, because we're all dual natured as beings on this planet and we must through inner discovery find out what percentages we are in everything everything we like everything we prefer everything we enjoy everything we don't care for everything um, that maybe somebody else cares for so you know we are here to explore not judge positive negative we can only make our own truth, our own reality for ourselves. And in the Hierophant, we see the Hierophant resembles Saint Duke Vladimir. He holds a scepter and a Russian Orthodox cross. So this is a, a saint who is also a royal in the Russian line. His meaning is ritualism mercy, kindness, forgiveness, inspiration, compassion, and servitude. Inactivity, timidity, captivity to one's own ideas. Tendency to cling to outdated ideas and principles. Conformity, a religious or a spiritual leader. So if you have been rooted in dogma and you feel rooted in your dogma right now, I encourage you completely to just look around you just talk to new people just get other points of view just um, through interacting and offering your skills uh, through the eight of coins you can have not only a brisk trade but you can open up, open up an entirely new realm into um, a new type of ascension a new type of higher vibration for yourself uh, you may have felt that the very uh, you religious and or spiritual in the past, but you felt a solitary practitioner, or you felt that your elders were rooted in their dogma, and this is the time to break out of that. This is the time to join with others, give of yourself, and and receive from others. Um, through your gifts, uh, reach out to others because there are spiritual leaders who are around you now who are alive and offering their guidance to you now. Our ancestors are always around us if we're willing to listen and within each cell of our bodies is the ancestral memory which can be woken up in food, in music, in so many ways this ancestral memory speaks to us and can guide us to our true spiritual nature. Who we have been is an amalgam of so many different faiths our ancestors have practiced throughout time. And by tuning into some of the things which gave them solace, we can uh, also look at through these difficult times. Okay, that was your alarm call from Houdini the rooster. Now, <clears throat> your final result is the reverse of the Six of Swords. Now, Six of Swords usually means a journey, a trip, a pilgrimage. However, it's reversed. So this would say that you are rooted right now. You are grounded and ready for action in this wonderful full moon energetic time, which is striking you. <laughs> This is a stalemate, an unwanted proposal, a confession, or a declaration. So, someone may be coming to you right now with news you don't want to hear. Uh, you, you may realize you may have been pursuing some sort of, free, some, some sort of cause, some, some sort of mission. And suddenly you, you reach a point where you're like, wait a second, 
I, I don't know how I started off on this track, but I, I don't really need to pursue it any further, so I'm going to drop this, and I'm going to do something else that's more worth my time. Um, and this is, I would say, uh... A time when you have a lot of love, outward love, public love, declarations of um, how wonderful you are, how special you are in your Leo, regal, generous, heart-centered, heart chakra self. That is a wonderful time. That is a good thing. <coughs> <coughs> At the same time, uh, it suggests you shouldn't travel. You shouldn't go somewhere else and start anew. Uh, if you're doing what this Eight of Coins says, which is uh, winning the hearts and minds of others and reaping in a good, honest living, stick with it. That is a good thing. Now, even though you have the world reversed and you're feeling discontent, perhaps, because perhaps you have really good business and it's going really well, you have this great star card, so you've got great ideas rolling in, everything could be good, you've won your battles here before with the Knight of Swords, you, <coughs> after having this wonderful support from the Knight of Cups and a lot of positive male energy or just the right amount of opposition that you really broke off with the past, completely broke the, those ideas down. You started something new, um, and I'm getting business from this, but it could be a new partnership, um, a new lover, uh, uh, but more like a, a venture, like adopting a child, um, for example, um, or uh, taking up school again, a, a realm of study. And now it's just chafing. It's going along smoothly, but it might be chafing a bit, uh, especially if there are uh, male energies which are oppressive for you right now. You're headstrong. You don't like working under someone or being subject to their rules and regulations arbitrarily. So I would suggest don't run away from that, even though they might be oppressing you in some way. Try to get in touch with your own nurturing male spirit. That's what can help right now. And pretty soon, uh, everyone, um, you will find the contentment you seek, the centered, centeredness that you seek. And uh, just continue to live a stable and prosperous life and move on. From, from this. Okay, well, um, I hope that this has clarified for you, uh, whether you be Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, Rising, and I hope that you have many blessings until I see you again. Sun Nam, Namaste, God bless, thank you so much. If you want to get in touch with me, my name is Dadam Kar. Uh, you can find me at dadamkar23 at gmail.com. I have a PayPal account, you can donate through Patreon. If you would like a personal reading, please write to me. I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.